Hey everybody, how's it going? Homestead OC. I'm gonna give you a walk around of our chicken coop. We'll do the walk around first. There's a metal potable water roofing. Got an IBC tote there that it drains back into. Um, I underestimated the amount of uh, water, I overestimated the amount of water I was gonna get this year because we've already used everything in there. But it helped, it's better than nothing, that's for sure. I guess we need, it didn't really overflow on any of the rains, so it's a properly sized bin. It just, it wasn't enough. It was, I thought it was gonna go up more. The coop's not that big, but it, it'll hold about 30 birds. We got two blueberry plants here, and I'll get to a little later in the video when we go inside, but I got these uh, nipples for the the chickens to drink from, and I got them orientated right next to all the stuff I got planted outside. So anything that they drip goes straight to these plants, and I tried to size them to the number of plants per site. I got two blueberry bushes and a grape here, so I got three on the corner. Might need four, but you know whatever it's uh it's it's doing pretty good i think once the blueberry establishes it's going to grow further towards the water same with the the grapes there this is a razzmatazz grape it's starting to come in pretty good i thought it almost died um but it's coming back this one is a red suffolk um just planted recently but it was bigger than the other ones when we got them so the idea is to train them up these uh trellises here we got uh, three um, spaced every two feet roughly and they wrap around the whole coop so the idea here is um, grow up each vine and it'll be uh, a espalier cordon type style or just you know traditional grape uh, trellis uh, three high and this one on this corner will wrap around to the front and hopefully grow as high up over the, the entrance as possible. Um, that one will stop around here, but I'm not sure if I want to stop them or overlap them one, overlap them each way. Okay, I don't know, we'll see what happens. Um, got the red Suffolk. This is the Venus. It is probably dead. Um, but I, I told the nursery I'd give it a little bit more time and you know water it just like the other one, see if it comes back. If not, they're gonna they're gonna replace it for me, so that's nice. Uh, this one's an interlaken, also kind of a big plant. I ordered all these at the same time, and they could only get two in, and I was just waiting for every was months and months, and um, something happened with the nursery they were getting them from, so they ended up not getting them. And to to make it right, they just they just gave me. Uh, a couple uh, bigger ones, which was which was nice. We got a pineapple here. We're talking about. <clears throat> we got two of those. I just planted them from the tops from the stuff you get in the store, and I got I got three of them actually, but two right here. Got them going with the mandarin orange. Uh, that's a little baby mango back there. And then this is where the trellis ends. Uh, that bungee cord I haven't used in a few months, and it stays there just just in case I need it. Um, the, this is the summer door. I should probably open it up because we're get, starting to get some hot weather here in Orange County. Unseasonably hot. They said it was the, uh, the hottest day this year so far. So anyway, this folds down. I got it held on with these two, uh, little button nuts or acorn nuts. That's what you call them. Um, two hinges. I put them on the bottom because I, I couldn't get a strong connection right there and uh, these two work pretty good. It stays shut most of the time. I got it um, set up to clean out my uh, deep litter. So this is the second bale of pine straw that I've tossed on here and I've, I stir it every now and then, but here's the perches. Um, they all fit up here. I got another one down here for, you know, whoever, I guess once the flock gets going, all the the junior junior flock members will be lined up here. 
I had another one across here. You can see the, the two screws that kind of pinched it in and it broke. It, it was some dried wood already and they, they would get on there to hop up on the next one and get down that way and like land on it and they just snapped it. Um, this one I kind of, I kind of built for Marty because he likes to, he, you know what, he normally, he normally camps out right here and it's because he can poke his head through there and he looks directly east, which is that way. And as soon as the sun comes up, he's, he's going for it. And that's why we need the, uh, crow collar for that guy. He's, he's a nice rooster. Um, he respects me. I don't know as far as rooster goes, like if he's, if they're supposed to be good with kids, but they don't tolerate the kids. Um, he's, uh, he'll, he'll jump at him. You know, he's not, he doesn't have any spurs yet. So I keep trying to tell my boys to, to just get him, you know, just kick him back or something like that. But they're terrified. You know, it's, he's, he's a scary guy. And, um, yeah, the boys are chase the chickens around. They're just having fun, but they're, they like to chase them. So two and four year olds are not chicken's best friend. We're, we're trying to work on it, but every time there's a chicken out and they want to go chase them around and, or Marty's out and, uh, he just, he, he doesn't tolerate that, you know? So you saw my broodies on the inside there. I just got them in the nest boxes right now. I know that once they hatch, I gotta, I gotta move them because it's, or find like a step ladder or something. I don't know. This wasn't planned. This is their first broody. She, she was hatched in August. So it's April now. Um, September, October, November, December, January, February, March, April. So eight months, maybe. They're already, they're definitely laying. They're laying a lot. Uh, we got 14 chickens, 13 hens, one rooster. This is uh, Weedy. She's a Welsomer, and we have a Welsomer rooster. They're probably brother and sister. Well, I, she's got one egg of hers, and we'll see what happens there. Um, we also got the Americana. So the Welsomer and the Americana, they're gonna. The resulting hen will be a olive layer, um, which would be exciting. Uh, the nest box was added after I built the coop um, I ran out of the, the the roofing material so I didn't put it on that I had some scrap wood uh, left over from the previous owner homeowner that I, uh, I put that on with um, this is gonna be my little brooder broody mom chick brooder thing um, still not sure what I'm gonna do with the roof for this but I kind of want to put some some panels here to block them from there and there but still leave this open like a sliding door where I can put in multiple panels some that are wide open some with the little uh, bars in them so the uh, the juveniles can get back in and out and um, the other chickens can't chase them out of there I don't know if that's gonna be a problem because they're I'm trying to raise them with the flock uh, and then out here we got it on a cinder block foundation. The whole thing's on cinder blocks. It's dry stack and did my best to level it. Pressure treated on the bottom and then two by threes for studs and then a, uh, a double top plate here uh, to tie everything in. It's, it's pretty strong. And then I, I got it screwed to the posts in the coop and uh, the roof is just gonna be a lift up type of thing. Here's my workbench and uh, the, the IBC tote, which I collect rainwater. I haven't got it painted and there's some algae in there, so it looks like it's full, but it's empty. Um, I made this little adapter here and uh, I got a bunch of IBC totes with uh, rainwater in them so I can take this off, hook it up to the next one. It just spins on and then I got a little transfer pump that connects to the hose. This one's all gravity fed, so I, I don't have it on there, but um, the, the pump does pretty good. Helps it go faster too. So inside the coop, this is a four foot door. I uh, made it so I could fit my tractor through here and scoop up wood chips or scoop them out. Just kind of grab the center and go. I don't wanna 
spend too much time getting all the corners and everything because I, I can't turn around with the tractor in here. It's it's a small tractor. It's uh, I'll get to that in another video. You'll have to stay tuned. Um, but here we go. On this on this other corner, I got I got three chicken nipples, and they like to scratch at the ground right here, and I don't really like it because it's undermining the foundation. So I might put a couple bricks underneath everything, but then what happens with the bricks is the water lands on it and then heats up and evaporates before it can soak in. So um, I think I'll maybe I'll just put some bricks right at the edges so they can't get right underneath it. Um, two more, each, each grape has two. And then the grapes on the corner, they have three. And then these uh, blueberries on this corner, they have two. Here's Marty, here's my feeders. First one here is, uh, is just the eggshell. I, I mash it up in a five gallon bucket and then I fill this thing up. I just save them until I either have a full bucket or this is empty and that's free choice. They, they go in there every now and then but they really don't eat much of it. Feeders are kind of the same thing. I had all my feeders like this, but this feed turns to dust eventually. And so it, it can clog things up. And this is, this flows the feed better, but it's, uh, they can still get their head in there to kind of flick it out. But then it falls on the floor and they start scratching at that. So I figured they're getting most of it. These were, the main intention of these was just for, if we go on a vacation, we can keep them locked up. And um, then they're fine and we'll just stock it for, uh, you know, if we're gone for a week. And the water, oh, I forgot to mention the water. Let's go back, check that out. The rainwater I mentioned, but over here, we got my 55 gallon barrel. Um, I couldn't, I already had something cut in this bung, and so I couldn't reuse something else to cover this side. So I got this little, it's a, uh, it's a little clear well, I don't know, it's clear well in use. It's a, like a pipe uh, stopper. Um, plumbers use these, they fit ABS, but it just tightens down with a thumb screw, a wing nut, and uh, keeps everything out. Um, it's 55 gallons, I fill it. Uh, maybe every three weeks or something. Um, it does pretty good and I can, I can shut it off here in case I want to take the valve off. There's a uh, unions here at this valve, so it's pretty good. I can unscrew the valve from the whole thing because the valve is the most expensive part of that. You got to save that in case you change your mind. It makes it, you gotta, you gotta make your design change your mind proof. So try and think ahead. I know that's hard when you have no idea what you want to do, but think ahead. Um, and then at all the planters, I have a, a little hose bib. So in case I want to drain it, it's already plumbed to drain right into these. So I usually do one at a time. If For a while in the beginning, I was flushing the system because I know I got some little PVC glue nubs floating around in there. So I want to drain them all out. And I didn't see any come out, but... It seemed, it's, it's, there's gotta be something in there. I don't know. So yeah, that's my, uh, my chicken coop. It took me about a month to build. And uh, a lot of it was waiting for the roof to come in. And I was just kind of going slow on it and the roof finally came in and really picked up and got it done. This is the, uh, the west or the south side. It faces directly south. There's the sign we're afternoon, so it's going down, but that's due south. So it doesn't get too cold here in the winter, but it takes advantage of uh, the winter sun. And then I put the roof overhang maybe two feet, so it does the best it can with the summer sun. Um, originally, I wanted, wanted it to kind of angle down here and then I would put some solar panels here um, but you know that didn't happen 
All right, thanks for tuning in. Like, comment, subscribe.